channel. I'm so happy that you're here and I hope you enjoy the video. And if you do, if you could like, if you could comment, or if you are enjoying multiple videos, if you could subscribe, that would be really great. Like I said, I'm happy to have you along for my plant journey. Love hearing from you guys and connecting and talking all things planting. So today is the very first episode in a new series that I'm calling Terracotta Talks Thursday. So my idea for this is one to two probably times a month featuring a different plant. On a Thursday I will um, release the video and it will have different house plants, information about those such as care, where to find them, propagation, or anything along those lines that you might want to know about. So the first plant in our series is going to be one of my favorite. If you don't already have one of these, you should, but most likely you already do because they're super common. I love when I can find a plant that's very affordable or very easy to propagate or very easy to care for. So this plant is all three. Dun dun dun, dun the golden pothos. Um, people call them different things. Devil's Ivy is one. Um, Epiprenum, something like that is what some people refer to like the, uh, the scientific name. I'm terrible with scientific names if you haven't figured that out already. So I usually just call this golden pothos. And then some people have different um, ways that they pronounce pothos, which I can't think of at this moment, but I say pothos because it's easy to remember. So this is a very easy to care for plant first off. So they can survive in a variety of light types. Um, I have some outside. I live in Florida. If you're not familiar with Florida, we're basically a tropical paradise slash jungle slash crazy people place. Florida is just crazy. But one of the really great benefits of Florida is that we can grow things outside year round, including tropical plants. So I have a handful of the goldens that are outside and I'm hoping this summer to transition some of my other pothos varieties outside and see how that works. But in Florida, you will see these usually climbing versus trailing. And I'll go into a little bit about that in a few minutes here, but they get this big when they're trailing or when they're climbing and you can find them in the wild all over Florida. So very easy to care for and oh, I just love them. So as I was going to say is one thing that So one thing about lots of different houseplant varieties, but specifically for different types of pothos varieties, is you can let them trail like I have here, or you can let them climb often on a moss pole or something similar to that. Now, they do well either way. However, as I mentioned in the wild, they do tend to climb. So if you're wanting something a little bit more um, a little bit more like natural. That's the way that they would thrive out in the wild, but I just love a trailing plant. So most of mine are trailing right now. One day I'll have some climbing, but space-wise they work better for me trailing right now and I love how they look. So those are two very versatile ways that you can change up how a golden looks. Um, another way that you can is depending how much light they're getting. So they do well. Oh, I think that's where I was going when I was saying they do well in different light conditions. They can grow in the hot sun in Florida. 
though usually you see them in more of like dappled light or shade, but they do do okay in complete sun in Florida, which is probably one of the hottest suns that you can get. <laughs> I actually have no idea because this is just the hottest place I've ever lived. Um, if you live somewhere hotter than Florida, let me know. I'm sorry. So they can handle very bright light or they can handle low light conditions. I have some in um, my bathroom, which doesn't have a window, but they get some artificial lighting as well as some indirect light from the door being open and they do fine in there. Depending how much light you have will determine how much variegation they will have. So this one you can see has some variegation here and then some that are almost solid green and um, it's up in a corner of my living room so it doesn't get as much light as some of my other ones in the living room just because of the direction. It's kind of facing away from the window like this. Um, but I think that it's so cool how they can all look so different from the different leaves. You know, there's different shapes, there's different coloring. This one's super cute. This one has a little bit. Ooh, this one's a cool one over here. So that's one reason that I love Pothos is just because there's so much uniqueness in each leaf that I don't feel like you get with a lot of other plants, especially common plants. So I'll talk a little bit about how common they are. You can find them very frequently at big box stores from Walmart, Lowe's, Home Depot. I've even seen them sometimes at Publix, um, as well as local garden shops, and they're usually very affordable. I've gotten very large hanging pots for between 10 and $15. Um, smaller pots can be anywhere from $5. Um, so very affordable, very easy to find in most cases. If you cannot find one and you would like one, let me know and I will propagate one for you because they're super easy to propagate and you can have your own plant before you know it. I have made lots of plants from plants with a pothos because they're just so easy to propagate. Now, as far as watering goes, I recommend watering not more than once a week, but again, this will kind of depend on where you're located. Living in Florida, it's often pretty humid here, so I notice that plants don't need water as frequently as someone who's probably in a drier climate, so definitely keep that in mind. I say that the best way to know how to water your plants is just to check on them. I always do the finger method usually, where I just stick my finger in, and if the soil feels dry, then I know it's time for the plant to get some, get some water. If it feels very uh, damp still, then I hold off watering it because even though they're very hardy plants, they don't like too much water. So they do better with less water than more water, which is very common of most plants, at least the ones that I have. So another way to tell is this plant here. I held off watering it so I could show you guys a little bit. So see how these leaves just are very drooping down compared to where these are kind of standing up. And some of the leaves almost look a little bit curled in and just kind of limp. That means this baby is ready for some water. So if you're never, if you're not quite sure, let your plants get closer to looking like this and then give them some water and they will perk right back up. It is amazing. By the end of the day, this plant will look just like this once I give it some water. So if you're new to plants, this is a great one that will tell you, hey, I'm thirsty, give me some water. And you don't have to worry about overwatering it. Oh, let me just point out, this one is closer to the, um, to the light and look how much more variegated this one's leaves are. So definitely slightly different from the other one. All right, so we talked about light, we talked about water. Let's talk about soil. Now, I am a very minimalist when it comes to soil. Now, I know a lot of people have different thoughts on soil and uh, different opinions, but goldens are something that grow in the wild and 
If you've ever gone outside in Florida and seen what a golden is growing in, it is some of the worst mulchy, just awful looking dirt. Like it's not even soil. So you don't have to be too concerned about what type of soil these are in just because they can grow throughout anything. So if you're new to plants, that's something that's really good is that you can just stick them in some regular potting soil and they will do fantastic. Let's talk propagation. So as I had mentioned, these are so easy to just make a new baby plant with. So I figured I would show you guys if I can untangle it. Okay. So see here, we have what we call the node of the plant and that is what you would use to propagate that little fat part right there. So what I usually do is I'll just find, I'll, I'll often do like two pieces because I just like to have a little bit extra. So use a pair of garden shears or scissors and I'm going to cut down here because where you cut it will start a new growth set. So I'm gonna cut down there. And then here we have the two different notes where each of the leaves are. I'm just gonna cut that to get rid of it because we don't need it. And then cut between the center and see how you have one node and two node and two leaves. And you can just plop those in water, just like so and change out the water every two or three days, but they will start growing roots and it usually will be a few weeks time and then you can put them in soil. Some people like to propagate directly into soil by just cutting off the pieces like I showed you and putting it right back into the pot or another pot of soil. Personally, I prefer water propagation because you can see the roots growing and it's super, super cool. Um, but there you have how you make another plant. So it's really great if you wanna share your plants with people or you just are craving a new plant but you're on a plant ban so you can't buy another one so you can propagate some plants and have a new plant. So I think that covers a lot of the basics of the golden pothos. There is a lot of varieties of pothos and their cousins, the scandapsis, as well as a lot of hanging philodendrons are very close to them and I just love all of the hanging trailing plants and so I just want them all but I figured I would start with the basic one today and we can talk about some other ones in another video but if you have any questions feel free to drop a comment about golden or if you want to see any other plant videos uh, like plant highlights in my coming weeks for this Terracotta Talks Thursday series. Something you really want to see, let me know. Any other pothos varieties you want to know, questions about the golden, all that good things, let me know in the comments. Thanks for joining us. Y'all have a great week. Bye.